Hey, good morning, folks, or good evening, or if you like me in space, uh, you don't know what time it is. Greg Silverman here, CIOs and bow ties. This is another one of a Come Learn With Me series. Take the articles that we like from the last week that uh, people have liked and shared and got good results, and we take you through them and read through them ourselves with you. Uh, what we do is we also highlight any pertinent points, and then we'll summarize it at the bottom of the article. So you don't even have to be watching this. You can just look at the five bullet points and away you go. Okay, um, this is from Nim B. New is, news is my business. Uh, we do track um, biotech as one of our mini groups. We have a, a, a LinkedIn mini group on biotech. So this is what came out of this. It was very popular. Two biotech firms investing $228 million to open plants in Puerto Rico. <clears throat> That's the highlight I was telling you about. Okay. Cytol immune therapeutics will be developing and marketing novel cancer immu immunotherapy products that use the, the patient's own immune system to eliminate cancer cells. Hmm. Cytol immune therapeutics in can biosimilar solutions will establish operations in Puerto Rico to develop their biotechnology products. Both initiatives represent a combined investment of some 228 million in the creation of 400 jobs. Economic Development Organization Invest Puerto Rico announced. While Cytol Immune Therapies will engage in developing cancer immunotherapy solutions, biosimilar solutions work on biotech products, including a COVID 19 vaccine. so that we're going to need a vaccine every year, so it might be a good business. Biosimilar Sciences will establish a state-of-the-art biotechnology facility in Aquadilla, Aquadilla with a 200 million investment in machinery and equipment. It will develop a series of biosimilar products, including a COVID-19 vaccine, new cell and gene therapy, biologics, clinical studies, and other recombinant biotechnologies. Biosimilar's current product portfolio has an approximate market value of 30 billion. Okay, well, that's nothing to sneeze at. <clears throat> We're excited we get to work in Puerto Rico, which supports our mission to make biologics affordable, accessible, and with uncompromising quality, said Robert Salquero, CEO of Biosimilar. There's no doubt about the island's capabilities in the bioscience sector, and we look forward to doing great things that help save lives. All of the stakeholders in Puerto Rico who help make our presence here possible have been supportive reflection of the island's commitment performing on the highest level in terms of life science, manufacturing, and business development. Okay, well, that's a good thing. All right. Puerto Rico. We knew that already. Okay. Meanwhile, Sato Immune will set it in Toa Baya, Baya, excuse my Spanish accent, with a total 28 million investment in machinery and equipment and expects to hire up to 100 highly remunerated professionals. The company will be developing marketing novel cancer immunotherapy products that use the patient's own immune system to eliminate cancer cells. That'd be great. Puerto Rico has a proven history in the life science sector and a deep talent pool. It is pla plain to see that the environment in Puerto Rico is ideal for the development of immunotherapies, said Cytal Immune CEO Rich Santulli. Relocations are as a result of Invest PR strategic plan the support from Biosciences Corp. Puerto Rico for strengthening Puerto Rico's bioscience sector, which is home to more than 10 U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved plants and generates 50 billion in production revenue annually. This announcement is a clear indication that Puerto Rico's business ecosystem is primed to support bioscience innovation, manufacturing, and distribution on a global scale. Said Roderick Miller, CEO of Invest PR. It also shows that this sector is crucial to the island's path to economic transformation since biotechnology startups can provide hundreds of jobs upon a successful FDA approval. Puerto Rico is the biotech hub. We proudly welcome Cytal Immune and Biosimilar to Puerto Rico and reiterate our commitment, commitment to help ensure success and health on healthy general investment. The company takes advantage of the Puerto Rico Incentives Code access to and other assets to set up operations. Okay, well, that's something we're taking a look at. Puerto Rico Incentive Code Act 60. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's an uh, interesting one, so be on the lookout. Yeah. Puerto Rico Biotech. All right. You take care and join us for another, join us for another uh, Come Learn With Me series soon.